Good afternoon. Um, last time in our educational videos, I uh, told you about how to navigate the um, neck, the mouth and the neck with the EUS scope. We discussed how to pass over the tongue, go over the, go through the posterior pharyngeal wall and then do an intubation into the esophagus. Today we will go uh, still further and today we uh, will discuss how to see the AP window. Um, there have been many methods uh, described in the existing literature and all those methods are very very good but uh, what I feel is that the method that we use uh, is a very, very simple method that uh, causes little or no inconvenience to the patient. While the methods that are traditionally used um, require the echoendroscope to literally hook up and that sometimes causes patients discomfort and cough. So we will see this simple method of looking at the AP window. And also, we will look at the lymph nodes in the uh, neck and the upper mediastinum as to how we should uh, look at the lymph nodes in this area. So before I start the video, um, let me show you uh, the neck anatomy. I hope you are able to see it here. Uh, okay. Not very well seen. Sorry about that. I'm trying to show you a neck anatomy picture. Yeah, now this is good. Um, I hope you can see here. So concentrate on this large vessel that you are seeing going across the trachea, that is the brachiocephalic vein, and see the clavicle. So basically, what you have to look at on EUS image is the thyroid, the um, large vessels that you will see. And now here, if you see, you have the aorta and you have the pulmonary artery just above the bifurcation of the trachea on the left side. Um, so these are the landmarks that you should remember. Um, one is look at the thyroid. Second is look at the um, common carotid arising from the aorta and the brachiocephalic vein. That is uh, the second landmark. And third landmark is the um, AP window. So um, to see lymph nodes in stations um, one and two, you have to look just behind, below the thyroid, the thyroid gland. Um, for you to see the lymph nodes at station two, you have to see two vessels. You have to see the common carotid artery arising from the arch, and you have to see the brachiocephalic vein, um, brain which divides uh, or which uh, comprises of the uh, internal jugular vein from the neck and the subclavian vein from the left arm. So these two combine to form the brachiocephalic vein. So you have to visualize the area where you are seeing the common carotid and the brachiocephalic vein above the aorta. That is station two. And then station three is in front of the uh, trachea, so we won't be able to see it. And then come down to the AP window where you will see the stations four, five, and six. Four is towards the trachea, five is exactly between the aorta and the pulmonary artery, and six is on the external margin of the aorta. So we have seen four, five, six, and then finally we end at the subcranial uh, lymph nodes, that is the station seven. So this is a brief 
outline I wanted um, to uh, talk a little bit of theory. Let's go and see how we look at uh, these things in the video. So I will start the video now. So I'm in the mouth. I've just gone past and you see this whole area is the tongue. And then I follow, like I told you last time, this air. So my up-down control is kept down and I'm following the path of least resistance. You can also see the endoscopic picture here, although I don't try to see. Now, see here. What is happening is, as I reach the uh, glycopharynx, uh, I turn a little clockwise and you start seeing the thyroid gland. Remember, we are still above the cricopharynx and we are already seeing the thyroid gland. So let us look at the thyroid. Now see this, I turned a little clockwise and I went beyond the cricopharynx. So last time I told you to first look at the arytenoid cartilage before you try to go into the esophagus. And so we went into the esophagus pretty quickly. And this is what we are seeing. This is the left lobe of the thyroid gland. So it extends till here. Let's see a little bit more of it. See, this is the thyroid. Nicely, you can see the thyroid gland. And now you see, you are seeing this large hypoechoic band-like thing coming. So let us see what this is. So a little bit clockwise, anti-clockwise, but the general direction is clockwise. So you see there is a big vessel now. This is the common carotid and there is another vessel which is coming here. So this is the um, internal carotid, subclavian joining to form the uh, left brachiocephalic here. So what we have done is we have seen the thyroid and then we have pushed down maybe a centimeter or so and we are seeing the common carotid artery and the internal jugular vein and the brachiocephalic vein. So uh, if you want to see the lymph nodes in station one, that is just below the thyroid gland. If you want to see the lymph nodes in the station two, this is the area. You have to first see the common carotid. See here, the common carotid arising from the aorta and the brachiocephalic vein. So this will be station two. At the same time, I have turned my scope a little clockwise and you see what's happening? I'm seeing the complete arch of aorta and underneath that is this big vessel which is the left pulmonary artery. Now left pulmonary artery crosses, see this? It is crosses anterior to the uh, arch of aorta. See here, this is the arch and this is the pulmonary artery which is crossing anterior here. See this? And this is the AP window. So, beautiful view of AP window, you can see. It is better than most of the traditional views. So, I will show you, uh, yeah, here. So, this, you see this? This is the actual window, which we don't see in the traditional view so well. So, here, you have the arch. You have the common carotid artery arising from the arch, going into the left side of the neck. And here... You have the brachiocephalic, which will break into the internal uh, jugular vein and left subclavian vein. So this is where you will find lymph nodes of station 2. This is where you will see stations of 4, 5, 6. You have the left pulmonary artery, arch of aorta. 4 is closer to the trachea. You see all this air. So 4 will be here. 5 is exactly between the aorta and the left pulmonary artery. So this is exactly the actual AP window is station 5. And then 6 is outside. I will show you how it is. See this? So 4, 5, 6 is outside. I will show you the 6 also. So we have seen this area, very important, station 2. We have seen 4, 5 and 6. And how I have got it? Now here I am just confirming whether this is a vein or an artery. Very good. You should use your Doppler to find out whether it's a vein or an artery. Uh, no need to get confused. So you see this is a vein. We are right. So common carotid, internal shoulder. So we confirm that we are dealing with this. And this is the station 2 area. This is the arch. This is the pulmonary artery. 
So 4 is here, 5 is close where it actually crosses, and then 6. So I've got a little bit more inside here. Um, we are now seeing the trachea anteriorly. So you have to turn a little more clockwise to see the trachea, and then push down, and you will see the station 7. That is the uh, subcarinal. See this? Traditional classic landmarks, left atrium and the pulmonary artery will be seen. And see this here, you will see two large round things, pulmonary artery here and left atrium here. This is the station seven. So uh, pretty easy, straightforward um, to see these areas. Actually here you are seeing some lymph node, which probably is reactive. So this is station seven. So pretty straightforward. First, start from the neck. Look at the station one below the thyroid. Then go a little internal, little anticlockwise, and you will see the common carotid and the brachiocephalic vein, common carotid artery. That is the area of station two. Turn a little more anticlockwise, very gently, and push in. And you will see the AP window. I'll quickly uh, go back and show you this once again. So that... Yeah. So, see this? This is the arch. And this is the pulmonary artery. So, I come back a little more. Come back a little more. See, it's a beautiful view. Common carotid coming out here. Arch of aorta. Pulmonary artery. I'll play it once again for you. So, see here, this is the pulmonary artery which is going anterior. This is the AP window. Here, you are seeing the brachiocephalic vein. So, very simple. Uh, little practice will be needed. Station 4, 5, 6, you can see here uh, in this area. And then you can see the uh, pulmonary artery crossing anterior to the um, aorta. So I think that's that's about it. Uh, pretty easy, straightforward. Next time, I will show you how to look at the lower esophagus and how to look at the uh, GE junction. So remember, we are only seeing here the left side. We have not seen the right side. That is a a little more difficult area because of the patient position that we uh, usually employ. But in one of the future videos, I will also show you how to see the right side. Basically, it's turning a little more clockwise, but needs a little expertise. I will discuss all those things with you. So thank you very much for watching this video. And we'll come back next time. Bye-bye.